Okay, well, as if the White House didn't have enough problems, President Obama will meet with top senators today at the White House to discuss Iran's nuclear ambitions. The administration is calling on Congress to allow more time for diplomacy and to hold off on imposing new sanctions against the regime. That approach is straining American ties with Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu is openly criticizing a draft deal that would take initial steps to freeze Iran's nuclear program while providing some economic relief. But two top foreign policy experts disagree with the Prime Minister's position. In a statement, Spigniew Brzezinski, because dad of course, and Brent Scowcroft write in part, quote, Should the United States fail to take this historic opportunity, we risk failing to achieve our non-proliferation goal and losing the support of allies and friends while increasing the probability of war. Additional sanctions now against Iran with the view to extracting even more concessions in the negotiations will risk undermining or even shutting down the negotiations, Dan. You know, we have this morning the bombing of the Iranian embassy in Beirut. Clearly, this whole region very volatile. Is the United States wrong to be handing the Iranian regime a lifeline at a point when Iran is crippled by sanctions? Why not just bring the Iranians to their knees, carry on with the sanctions, and say, we, we're going to dictate the terms I, I, of the I totally agree with you. There was a, uh, in today's Wall Street Journal, there is a, uh, or sorry, in the New York Times today, there's a quote from an administration source on background saying, look, we in the Israelis, we the administration, the Israelis have a fundamentally different view. We the administration want to put constraints and limits on Iran's nuclear program. The Israelis want to dismantle Iran's nuclear program. It's a fundamental disagreement. I do not believe it is bridgeable. The Israelis believe that Iran cannot, must not have a nuclear weapons capability, meaning they can't even have the infrastructure to build a nuclear bomb. The, the administration position is effectively... But the they can also say that they're a year and a half away. A absolutely. But, but, the, but the administration is saying we need to keep the infrastructure in place. We can let the infrastructure remain in place, let Iran have its nuclear program, and just hopefully we, hopefully we can turn off their ability to create a bomb in the near future. From the Israeli standpoint is six months, 12 months, why remove the pressure now? just as you said when, when Iran is on the Howard, the White House's argument is that they've never had such good signals from Iran. They have to test this. The, responsibility, the responsible thing to do is to at least give negotiations a shot. Well, I, I, think, I think looking at it purely politically, the problem he's got is he's bringing senators in there and he's going to say, trust me, I know the details of this. Hmm. Trust me. And by the way, the Israelis, don't claim, the Israelis claim they don't know all of what's going on in these negotiations, which on one level they shouldn't, but on another maybe they should. And those senators are going to be looking at Barack Obama and they're going to say, we should trust you. Why? After the, they just went through the Syria yeah, thing. Yeah. And so uh, he's, got, he's, got a, he's got a problem politically selling this. I would, I would say, though, to the Israelis who are watching American politics, it's a dangerous thing to make support for Israel into a purely partisan issue and, and make it one party versus another party. That's never been the case. And Republicans, there are conservative Republicans who would like to make Israel their issue. Can and, I just make and, one very quick point? Yes. First of all, the problem for the administration right now is it's Democrats, congressional Democrats, who are worried about these negotiations. It's not just Republicans. Secondly, I just returned from the a couple weeks ago, it's not just Israel's leaders who are worried about what's going on. You go to any Persian Gulf, Arab country, the government is as panicked as Netanyahu is. One thing Barack Obama has done is he's brought Arab leaders and Israeli leaders together. Not the way he envisioned, but he's brought them together because they're but all the, panicked the way about the, the way the issue is being framed is it's something Israel, it's, it's Israel versus the United States. Where, where's this coverage of all the other countries? I, 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 that, you're in the news business. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I, it's just stunning to me that it's being covered. Dan Senor, Howard Fine. Good to Two see you really both guys. Two really smart guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Finally. There's a lot